Hey guys, it's Jane. It's Friday morning, uh, November the 18th, um, and I'm here for a Friday Reads. I didn't make one of these last week. Quite frankly, I was simply too depressed to stand up in front of a camera. Um, I'm still feeling um, a bit of shock after the presidential election. Uh, not my president, not my election. Um, and yet, I'm still feeling like this. Um, I actually scripted a whole other video, which I decided not to make uh, about that, because quite frankly, why would anybody care what I would think about that? But um, the main thing that's really broken my heart as a white evangelical Christian is that it appears that 81% of white evangelical Christians voted for Donald Trump. They didn't um, not vote for Hillary. They voted for Donald Trump. Doesn't that really matter how you phrase that? That That is something which we, as a church, are going to have to live with for a long time. And, you know, lots of people don't think that's a problem. And um, I hope you're happy. And, um, yeah, what can I say? Um, there's been a whole bunch of stuff going on on Twitter um, with people working through their feelings but also trying to figure out what is an appropriate, useful response. And one of the things that really struck me is that um, it's more important than ever to call out casual racism when you see it. And in that spirit, <clears throat> I need to tell you that one of the things that I did um, in the days following the election is I picked up um, PG Woodhouse because I needed somebody to make me feel better. And thank you, Jeeves, the first book in this first volume of the omnibus was where I turned to and um, I was really enjoying it until about the third chapter when we came across nigger minstrels and I've clearly read this story before and presumably what happened is that earlier I had filtered this out in a kind of you know it's of its time kind of thing um, but of course the assumption with that is that it's of its time which is not of our time because our time is different and so I don't really need to worry about this thing in this historical document but all of a sudden I realized that that was probably not the case so let me tell you that um, you're going to get the n-word when you read uh, Woodhouse and that may not be something that you want to come across and so I'm going to withdraw my recommendation of that book or at least add that addendum. I couldn't read it any more after that. So um, the last week or so has been a lot of picking things up and putting things down. Um, at the moment, I am actually enjoying the book that I'm reading. It's The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman, which is an alternate worlds uh, sort of adventure story about... Um, an agent called Irene who works for the Invisible Library, uh, which is an institution that exists between worlds and their job is to go into alternate worlds and save books that um, are important for one reason or another. And um, she has gone back to a particular Victorian-ish in London in a particular world that has werewolves and vampires and uh, the fair folk uh, to get a copy of the Brothers Grimm and it's not going so well um, so yeah I am enjoying that and that's where I'm gonna leave today I hope you're all well I hope I'm not feeling like this still next Friday but who knows maybe I will be I'd love to hear what you guys are up to especially if you've got something a bit more happy to tell me and I'll talk to you later bye <laughs>